Okay. Nice. My mouse is somewhere. Oh, there it goes. Well, it's good to know that there's an autosave. Looking for Sonny. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Oh boy, do we. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Alright, so a tin can dug me out of a shallow grave. A doctor put my brain back in my head. And now I'm looking for the people who killed me. We're off to a good start. 24 hour bar. Count me in. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? What? Look for the tin can. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Well, that's ominous was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Well, that's nice of you. What the hell were you digging for? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Uh, Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Mm. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. Why are they worse than the NCR? Led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been mm. hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Oh man, this is a lot of information. So many questions I have buzzing around my head. Uh... The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. That's ominous. But all right, I'll take Meet your word. and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but got to be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Oh, they're actual animals. I, did, I thought there were a faction of people. That's interesting. Um. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. 
Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Easy enough. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Well, thanks, Easy Pete. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. <laughs> Can't wait to challenge Caesar to a bare knuckle fist fight over Hubert Dam. Is this the bar? Sonny in here? Hey yo, Sonny! Whoa. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. All right. You won't get any objection from me. Why would I take a book? Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. And yet I feel offended. What? Well, this that's not the way out. That's not the way out either. That's definitely not it. What was your name? Cheyenne? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Hey, let's be careful where we're pointing those. How do I tip? Ooh. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, did that jam? Is that a thing that can happen? Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Yeah, why not? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I'm not very used to the controls. I mean, uh, I ain't used to this kind of gun, and I gotta get my skill back after getting shot in the head. And Oh, I felt like my, my entire vision was about to crash like as it was some kind of computer program for a second there. Is there a sprint? I mean, do I... Remember how to use my fucking legs? Man, this role playing thing is kind of hard. <clears throat> Looking good. Why am I slow? How do I put the gun away? I. Well, I can freeze frame the world if I ever need to. Oh, the dog's name is Cheyenne. Hey, the water hole's a real long distance away from... It's a good looking place. Oh, where'd you go? There it is. Hey, uh, how do I put my, my gun away? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Well, that's good to know. I'm sneaky. Control. Am I going the right way? Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Is that the well over there? Whoa! That ain't good. Turn, right mouse button. Ooh, I gotta... I think they saw me. Oh god! That's horrifying! Stop! Well, I guess we're going. Whoa! So much for sneaking. Uh, take o A. Oh, I mean, I have to click on it. That's an empty gecko.
Yeah, it's a real big gecko. How come the dog ain't any See? bigger? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Would it now? Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Ooh, I see him on my map. I think I'm learning. Oh, that's it. Whoa! Alright, cool, but now let me zoom out to shoot again. Is there more? Okay. Still looking for that sprint button. If it exists. Cinematic. Can I skip that though? Oh, that's a person. Holy shit. Dismemberment. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. What the hell are you doing out here? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, whoa. Thank you. Reputation. Good reputation. Smiling troublemaker. Some good, a little bad. Naturally. Okay. Liked. Mixed reputation. Huh. Look at that. Oh, good springs, huh? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. A little? Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, yeah, sure. Good All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. No, no, collecting. Let me think now. Oh, God. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Hey, that's where I died. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Why not? How do I put the gun away? Where am I? Well, this is fun. Interesting. Where was the graveyard where I died? Was that even here? My memory's a little fuzzy, you know? With the whole getting shot in the head and all. Oh, I'm, got, I'm glad I, I have a orchestra in my ear at all given times. Makes this journey so much more creepy than it needs to be. That looks like a graveyard. B, N, M, K. One of these. One of these has got to put the gun away. Nope. We'll we'll get there. Cannot wait while enemies are nearby. Oh my God. It's horrifying. Uh, 
That's horrible. You know, I probably should have upped that sneak value while I had the chance, though. Back in the old days. When I was uh, checking to remember what skills I had, I should have remembered that I was more sneaky. Yeah. Oh, God. Well. Oh, well. Quite erratic. Ah, oh, well, you know what? Let's get right in there. Yeehaw! Oh my, they shoot things. Oh my god. Put them down. That was horrifying. I didn't know they were shooting things at me the entire time. That's probably not very useful. Wait, what am I looking for again? How do I get out of here? I'm looking for flowers. I think I'll leave that there. Flowers, or was it something else? Cactus. What was I? Pit boy, help me. Bro Xander root and Brock flower. Okay, well, excellent. Z Xander root. Z Xander. Hello? There we go. It's weird what it'll let you pick up in this game. Whoa! Oh. I see there are things much worse out there. And that's New Vegas, huh? I'm not too far away. I'm in a hole. All right. Schoolhouse. Now, where was that? Oh! Is there fall damage? Of course there's fall damage. I don't know why I'm asking. Schoolhouse. You don't really look like a schoolhouse. I don't think so. You look more like a schoolhouse. Or maybe the keep out sign up there. Is there a way in? No, there isn't. In fact, there's no door whatsoever. looks like the place to be. See, the strings agree. Whoa. Am I really going that far? Oh my god, let me turn around, for the love of god. I mean, I guess I'm fine. Nobody has any complaints about the character that I've built. Yeah, uh, we're done. We're turning around, though, because obviously the schoolhouse should be somewhere here. <laughs> First quest, as soon as I wake up from dead. Get a flower. I can't even do that. Is that a real rattlesnake, or is that just... Fucking with me. 
good stuff off to the mailboxes. Well, that's good to know. Hello. That one's empty. Is that a schoolhouse? No, that's the same building that I was looking at earlier. This doesn't make any sense, but okay. Oh, wait. What's that? What's that icon? Okay. What am I... Quests. Good, okay, nice. Am I... Who am I? No. I want to move the damn thing. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming that's New Vegas. I'm assuming that this is God knows where. I'm in the bottom corner of the map. Is that me? Or is that me? Ah, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, it's a person. Gonna raid your mailbox. Are you farming cactus? Good job, man. Making a living. That looks like a schoolhouse. Magazines. I don't know. I, I opened the one that was in. Oh, wait a minute. I was also looking for a robot, wasn't I? Here, detour. Stop. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Um. Oh. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. That's very kind of you. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Well, that's very nice of you, but do you know who it was? Can't say that me? I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. All right. How'd you get here? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, yeah. it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Will do. See ya. Happy trails! What a nice robot. I bet he's worth a lot of money in scrap. Oh. Oh, hey! Well, then. Ow! My leg! My knees! Man, that bat sure is useful. I'm glad I stacked agility. How are you alive? Oh, that's not blood animations. I'm just missing. You can't be sure. Well, that worked out. Are these containers I can look in? I don't know what's useful in any way, shape, or form. I seem to be getting a lot of wonder. 
Is that, can I use that as a weapon? No, I really got a lot of weapons. I don't think I need to worry too much about that. Hello? Password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. I'm, I'm feeling sciencey. Four tries. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. Hmm. All right. A mantis nymph as a pet. That sounds horrifying. That thing bit my ankles off. Enter password now. Am I just looking for... Uh, canteen? Warring? Heavens? Lantern? Is there a hint? How do I know? Is this random? Mm. One of seven? Oh, I see. One of those words lined up. Well, was it an E? No. What does Western and Heavens have in common? An N? Hunt! Two? Uh oh. <laughs> this ain't good. What does Hunt have that Heavens and Western don't? It's not a T. Could be a U. And an N. Hmm. Hmm. One more try. I could always come back later, I guess. How do I get out of this thing, though? Whoa! Guess I'll take that. Ah, oh, that looks useful. What? Does it really just give me another four attempts? That's an oversight. <laughs> But is it a fresh puzzle? Well, okay. Unlocking what? What did this just unlock? Is there something nearby? Is that what happened? Get me out of here. Oh! Is that what I just opened? A stealth boy. How do I use that? Weapons, aid, miscellaneous. What the heck is a stealth boy? Is that a weapon? Oh, look at that. I can click on whatever I want to have be in my, my, my two, three slots. I have a broad machete. Where did I even get that? Well, I guess you'll go there. I will go there. And do I have a limit on how much stuff I can equip? And see why I would. But binoculars? That can be six. Why not? Seven. Throwing spear. Apparel, jumpsuit, lightweight armor. D DT is eight. DT is non-existent. Lightweight metal armor versus leather. Oh, okay, I'm learning. Kinda, sorta. Of. In a way. Aid, stealth boy. Okay, stealth boy. Can I just do I just use that, or is that a temporary bonus? That sounds like a temporary bonus. So I'm just gonna leave that be in the consumables menu, so that probably tells me all I need to know. Ugh. I don't want that. Keep your eggs. Came here for flowers. There we go. Oh, wait. I don't think it was jalapeno that I wanted.
Mm. Where's the damn flower? Oh, if I press the button again, it'll... What? There's enemies. Why can't I see them? Was there more in the... Oh, no! Oh. What beautiful wings. Schoolhouses? Is, is that where they... What else am I looking for? I got Brock flower. What was the other one? Was it jalapeno? I've already completed this quest and I just don't know it. Xanderu. I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, you know what? I don't care enough. What's the other thing? Hmm. Now I've got a problem of trying to figure out which one of these is the DLC quest and which one's the actual ones I need to do. I think that's the one I need to do. Find the men who tried to kill you. I was delivering a platinum chip. And then somebody who suspiciously sounded like Joey from Friends shot me in the head. That's all I know. Hi. No crouch jump, huh? Why look at that? That looks like another temporary bonus. I mean, a lovely read. This is where the robot lives? Nobody needs those. I already gotta be quick before the robot comes back. <laughs> Nobody saw nothing. Alright, now how do I... Uh, what was the other woman? Sunny? Yeah, that sounds about right. Do I move faster when I have a... I do. I think I move faster when I have my weapon put away. Well, I'm glad they still have money for lights in these hard times. Too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. All right, you're that guy. <laughs> Three of those letters are right. Hurting, hunting, what's a word that is similar? Oh, wait a minute, that was so close. I've lost karma! Wait, does reaccessing it make me lose even more karma? Ah, what do I care? <laughs> I 
I am terrible. I'm also bad at hacking, so you know what? I'll just leave. I've lost every time I access that I lose karma. <laughs> that sounds like a good way to get chased out of town real fast. So I'm just going to give up on that one. Oh, a workbench. A reloading bench? How does any of this work? Skill requirement. Break down scrap into lead. Break down 12 gauge. Oh my. Conversion. Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to be a science -y person. Look at this general store. Look at all this stuff I could steal at any given time. Why, hello? You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Huh. Um, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Hmm. Interesting. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. I love futuristic drug dealers. What about New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Hmm. Who's Mr. House? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos Why follow Mr. House's then? rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. Mr. House is looking after you. It's got to be a good thing, right? Uh, maybe. Well, what do you have for sale? Can do. At least so I can see. What? Who's? I can sell. Is this what he has to sell, or is this what he has to sell? Well, it looks like this is what he has to sell. What a weird collection of things you have to sell, including a laser pistol. Well, cool. Bye. Take it easy now. If I go behind the counter, will you get very angry with me? If I even open this stuff, you're going to get angry with me. That's fair. Where the hell is Sunny? I will wait outside this building until she shows up. You've sat here for over an hour. I guess that's fine. I did too. Where am I going? Where's the woman? I'm close to just shooting up this place. Can I go in here? I can, but it damned me to an eternal hell of seeing blackness. 
Oh. Hey, nobody seems to live here, so, uh... Oh, this is your house. Can you move over? While well, he's sleeping, I don't want to disturb him. Morning, sunshine. Oh! Well, I guess that's what happens. Oh. You're, 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 a, you're a spooky son of a bitch, aren't you? Day two of living out in the deserts. Still no sign of Sunny. Hey there. If you're looking for supplies, chat over at the general store can help you out. Hey there. Okay, well, thanks. I was really trying to find where this woman is. Hey, where did I come out of? Was this it? Yeah, let's go talk to the doctor again. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself. Well, man. I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Well, that sounds nice. Uh, I don't know anything about... Uh, but actually, tell me about the town. Well, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Hmm. Can you tell me anything more? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Um, what happened to the thing that was taken from you? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Well... I guess that's it. Goodbye. You take care now. I guess my next course of action is to just leave this town. And yet I still feel so wildly ill-prepared. Whoa. I'm gonna check the Prospector... Saloon? One more time and then I'm just gonna head out if there's nobody there. I'm not gonna be waiting around for NPCs forever. Oh. Well, 
Pete, do you live in that chair? Howdy. Howdy. Come here often? That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? All right, I'm out. Time to live my life the way it was meant to be. Fast and hard on the edge of a steel bullet. Looking for the town of Prim, right? Look in all the buildings? No, I guess not. I accidentally broke my way into old Ed's house, whatever his name was. Most of these are shut, though. One in the schoolhouse, one in Ed's house. That's not locked. I guess I can go in there. This looks new. Why, hello. You're the woman I saved. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I don't want to steal your only weapons. I got plenty of my own. Strategically bright light so I can't look outside. I like it. I like it. I mean, if it's empty, then what would I look in at the beginning? Why even give me the option? Alright, I'm out. See ya. As it was his face, his house. Um, this is probably some place I can go in and ruin all your crops. No? Yes? No? There's no way to get into this house. Oh. Oh. I can steal a broom. That refrigerator has something in it, but... <laughs> ah, that's nothing. Okay, so I didn't lose karma for just opening it. I only lose karma if I then take something afterwards. Buddy, listen, you're not going anywhere. I need that more than I, than you do. You got the dock. I got nothing. <laughs> I haven't visited the gas station yet. I can pop in there. All right, listen, I'll be honest with you. I, I played a little bit of this game before just to create a character and test out some technical stuff, and I could have sworn that there was, like, ten more NPCs in this village than I'm seeing. I could stealing things. I could have died. I'm going to be going out fighting cockroaches and scorpions. That guy might cut himself with a shovel. They're okay people. They're ambivalent people. And that's a locked door. And those are locked doors. Wait, that might not be locked. Man. <laughs> Did that really happen? Did that man tell me about a name, a person named Sonny? Did that happen? I'm losing my mind. Gas station. Home. Oh, Michelle's house. Oh, Doc Mitchell. 
Inspector Saloon, General Store, Saloon, Saloon. Good Springs Home and a Good Springs Home. And the schoolhouse. I, I don't know. They took you in when you were as good as dead. And that was very kind of them. And in return, I'll do something for them. If I can just find someone to do something for. Well, I don't know. That's not where I want to go. Stop it. What's happening? What? This isn't the saloon. Where am I? Is this just a shed? It's just a shed. <laughs> I thought that was the way into the saloon. I accidentally broke in. Whoops. <laughs> okay. No, didn't mean to do this. <laughs> Not what I wanted. <laughs> Hello? I feel, I think I accidentally got a glitch. To be honest, I'm pretty sure there's a woman who's supposed to be around here to give me a quest. But that's fine. There's more to do. Accidentally lockpicks. It can happen. You gotta be careful. Hey, that's weird. What the hell is that? Is that a dog? You almost killed him. You know what? I bet something's not happening. I did almost, I did almost kill that man. He looked at me funny. Can't tell me you don't like strangers when there's a stranger sitting right next to you. You don't know what they might do. Might punch you. They might punch you and then get stuck on a cactus. Where is the woman? Where's the... Did I ever get the Xander root? What's happening? That's a big gun. I had all these things just on me. And at no point did the doc say that, hey, maybe I might be some crazy, deranged individual. <laughs> With a machete? What is this? Oh. Right. Very quick attacks. Xanderu. No? Yes? They said the schoolhouse. I'm not crazy. Was it in the schoolhouse? Wait. Alright, I was hoping they might have eaten it. This is my casual machete, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have my business machete with me. Was it in here and I'm just crazy? Did I miss it? Am I blind? Wait. That's a school desk. Who cares? Why did they fix this and, like, educate themselves? Well, alright. None of this stuff is useful to me. It's all just stuff I can sell. Which I guess is fine, but I don't think I'm too bad on caps. I have like a hundred and something, right? I don't know where to find that. 83. That doesn't seem too small. That being said, I have absolutely no concept of money yet. But... One of these was the... That's fine. This is much more casual. Oh, hey, have I been in here yet? I bet I have. I have. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. He did go to the gas station. Yeah, I did. It required a key. Warning. Newcomer shouting in blind mad fury by schoolhouse. I did. But it required a key for me to open. I know the... Okay, I'll be... I did the quest here. There's the, there's supposed to be like a raider thing. And then there's like a man that I'm supposed to be able to talk to. But none of that triggers unless I talk to where Sun the Sunny is. Sally? I'm wondering if I can't do that until I finish this quest with Trudy to teach me how to do stuff. And why am I so slow? I thought I buffed my agility so I could do stuff faster. Hi. Gas station was locked unless there's a key just like around there. I can't get in. I'm pretty sure I have to get it from a person. It's somewhere. There's all the dead geckos. Oh. I can take a fucking sip. That's good. I didn't know there was actually water available in this game. That was non-radiated and so easy to find. I'm following my marker that's, I think, telling me that there's a person over here? Which should be what's-her-face. Hello? Ow. Oh, it's empty. I don't know why I checked it. Force of habit, really. Oh, hey. It's you. Everything all right? No. Help. Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. How do I... <laughs> what am I doing for you? What is this that we're doing? Data? Quest. Find a Brock flower in the Xanderu. Show location. What? Is this me? Place mark. Yeah, of course. Why does it ask me? Oh my god, is it actually going to show me where the Xanderu is? Can I miraculously fly? Can I Bethesda my way up this? Eh. Oh my god, I can. Can I... My Skyrim powers are unmatched. I never played Skyrim. Ugh. Jump, come on. Believe. <sighs> oh well, I'm higher than I was. No. That was incredible. I'm just gonna spider monkey my way to victory. gonna get there. Slow and steady wins the race. Only took me 52 minutes to find a goddamn piece of flour. Now where is it? Gonna eat your dog when I get back. I'm close. Oh my god. Finally. I've done it. How horrible. That was... That was... Oh. Oh. I'm taking the killing approach for the rest of this game. Oh my god. Somebody asked me to go fetch something for them. I'm blowing their head off immediately. 
I don't give a fuck who they are. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's to get them some money from a vault. I don't care if it's to asking me to go get them a freaking glass of water. I'm killing them. <sighs> what a beautiful town up ahead. Almost there. Oh, okay. Hi. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Activated. Healing powder. Brock flowers and a root. Negative one perception plus HP. Okay. Uh. Oh. Accept. How how many? Okay, I just have the ability to make one. Hey, that's not bad. See, all it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Thank you for a two-hour well, tutorial. I hope that's enough to get you started. Me too. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. If she just spawned into existence because you asked me that question, I'm gonna be livid. What the hell's in here? This is my home now. Oh, wow, I can really make it my home. I can sleep here. Nice. Whoa! Who the fuck are you? Hello? Can you help me? Mm, I don't know. What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please. She's going to die. All right, fine. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Ah, oh, fine. Over there. You're lucky you didn't ask me for a glass of water, buddy. Hello? Ooh. No running. Man, they're horrifying. Are you still alive? Not anymore? Hey, is there a woman up here? I bet that made Trudy come into existence. Oh, God. Kako! Uh oh. Man, 
That was a close one. Oh my god, you're alive! It's time! Ah! Ah! How about you? Ah! Whoa! Okay. Cool. What was I bad at? Repair. Oh, I have a lot of skill points to assign. I was better. I was kind of unfortunately bad at sneak compared to how I wanted to be. This is fine. Yeah, that seems about right. Well, yeah. Oh god, I can click another one of these? Does more open? Are these the new ones? I can't pick those. I can only pick the ones that they gave me. Okay, confirmed bachelor. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Swift learner. I see. Well, one of these two is going to unlock more content. Alright, folks. Bachelor or Lady Killer? Or Rapid Reload? Hmm. Oh, they have requirements. That's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Coconut, okay. Confirmed Bachelor makes 10% more damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Intense training, this is one more point in any of my special attributes. Lady Killer is the same thing as Confirmed Bachelor. 10% damage against female opponents, and then you'll have access to unique dialogue options with the, si with the opposite sex. Um, rapid Reload was just faster reloading. Retention was making it so the, the temporary buffs from reading magazines last three, bi uh, three times as long. And Swift Learner was 10% uh, more experience in general, every time you get experience. I'm leaning towards Lady Killer, if only because I like both of these, Bachelor and Lady Killer, and I know that I'm going to have to talk to a, a lady in a couple of seconds, so that's why I figured I'd just start with one and get the other one later. I like the ones that give you more dialogue options. Confirm Bachelor. On it. Can I pick two? Oh, no, I can only pick the one. That's fine. Confirmed Bachelor it is. I still haven't found this guy's girlfriend. I don't know where she was or if I went the wrong way or not, but I mean... This seems to be the gecko way. Oh my god, that's a lot of geckos! Oh no! Just start shooting! Plug him! Oh no. <sighs> Don't panic. I'm panicking. I'm panicking! That's the most horrifying face I've ever seen in my life. Put him down, buddy! Hey, when I reload, do I lose all the ammo in my clip? Not quite sure. We'll figure it out. Why am I bad? There, for the love of God. I 
know you're around here somewhere. Ooh. That's a beautiful face. Okay, moving on. I've never really been good with rifles. No, I don't want to wait at all. Cancel. I ain't waiting. Much better. Hey, is this his girlfriend? Is that what I'm gathering here? <laughs> huh. I accidentally took everything. Well, that's fine. Cards? Melons? What of you? Wasn't there a girlfriend that I was looking for? Ooh, pretty moon. I like the sound effects in this game, actually. Very well designed. I'm sorry you had to watch me flail like geckos for a solid three and a half minutes. I promise I'll do better next time. Now, am I going to have to sleep to force her to come in, or am I going to have to just wait? Not exactly sure that's going to work. Hopefully, Trudy will be there. <sighs> Civilization. Kind of. Howdy. That was Wild Wastelands, the guy showing up in the middle of nowhere? Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while long? Oh, you're Sunny Smalls. If I'm going to Prim, where would I, what would I take as a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. 
All right. You never know who you'll run into. Will do. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. I wasn't giving up. I think I solved that. I'm pretty sure that was the woman, is that she was just torn apart, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm, f I'm fairly certain that that carcass at the top there was... was her. At least I think so. Sure. What do you want to know? Are there any other towns nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Okay, Can't well, miss it. I mean... Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Did your quest up late? I don't think he gave me a quest to begin with. So the NCR is the New California Republic. They're like the kind of government that's around here, I'm assuming. Uh, when that happens, whatever you were looking at was something that you're only seeing because it's the perk. Oh, or something that's about to happen. Okay, I didn't even notice that the Wild Wastelands thing showed up. So are you referring to, like, the bear trap and the little outpost that was up there, or the quest in general with the guy who was looking for his girlfriend? I can't tell if that... Are you saying that the quest with the guy I'm looking for the girlfriend is the, uh, the Wild Wastelands thing? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Hmm. That's it. If you want to know anything else. Bye. Until next time. See ya. Thanks for the free gun. Ha ha! Being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? I just like to chill. Oh. Well, that was interesting. Either. What? There she is. Hey, Judy. Hey. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hmm. What was the argument all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay, well, fucking. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh, right. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Oh, I'm glad that's not. Chain option. gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Oh. I just kill him. You mean murder him? Yeah. That's not our way, oh. even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. All right. No, I said that first. Um... Yeah, tell me about the people that are trying to kill me. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say they were having going? some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. 
Which it could be, for all I know. Uh. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Uh, I know his name is Cobb because the text freaked out, but who is he? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. That's so. Uh... Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder oh, gangers oh, oh. mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Oh, I see. So I can... Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Uh, I'm not in the business of hanging out with convicts anyway. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell about the robot. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he do? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. That's horrifying. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Hmm. Fine. Uh, what do you think about the NCR? The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Oh, tell me about that. All right, what do you think about the Legion? Slavers, killers, no. and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. That's stupid. The rumor is, is that oh the Legion God. is far larger than the NCR lets what? on. And that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Are you kidding me? A bunch of LARPers are trying to take over Hoover Dam. And Texas Rangers from the future are trying to stop them. I thought that was just like a metaphor thing. I didn't think they really dressed up as Caesar's Legion. Oh my God. Yeah, tell me about the radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. Ooh. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. Okay. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. What did I do for you? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Bye. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'm gonna go see if I can fix that be radio. Be careful out there. Is that a repair skill or a science skill? I guess I'll find out. This is gonna be the first test of seeing if I'm actually good at what I say I'm good at. Where's that radio? Is it by the jukebox? No, it's not broken. Ah, there it is. A pair of 20 or greater required. Huh. And there we go. Fit as a fiddle. I didn't realize that science and repair were actually separate things. <laughs> I probably would have put more points in the repair if I'd known that. Well, I'm glad that Trudy, after I fixed her radio, decided to walk off into the wild green yonder and was never seen again. Real unfortunate, really. Alright, Ringo. He's holed up in the gas station. Let's go give him a talking to. I'm planning on siding with Goodwoods here, just because they seem like they're going to be helping me out more than the powder kegs would. Powder gangers. You know where my head is. I don't feel like I can really trust a bunch of comics. Oh, now I can go in. 
Aha! Whoa! That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Hey, um, uh, just, um, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? What the hell? I don't care about your stupid game. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. What the hell did you do? Oh, I see. Hmm. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You don't think I can handle myself? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. If you insist. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Wait, no, but who the hell are so you? So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? I haven't talked to her yet. Oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. Ah, uh, fuck. I should have asked him what the hell the Crimson Caravan was before I asked to do his quest. Fine. Wait. Hold on, we're bros now. Let me sleep in your bed. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Try to hurry. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Try to sneak in. Try to sneak my way into his bed. There are other beds than these. I wonder if she's really going to be so amiable at, what, 10 o'clock at night? Howdy. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, I plan on killing some people. I need your help. Um, uh, yeah. Say no more. I'm in. Wow, that was easy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. You got a really well-defined plan. Any ideas of how we can convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay, Chet willing to give us some supplies. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Well, I got a magazine for that. What about Easy Pete? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. I don't think I can do that. I'll be waiting. Alright, well, Trudy wants to know that we have a good plan before she'll say yes, so how about we start with Chet and I'll actually barter with him. Hey, why am I... how do I get here? Chet, wake up! Hey there. Yeah, good. Are you gonna suck me into conversation from all the way over there? I'm gonna get you out here before I talk to you. You looking to buy some supplies? Kinda. One second. 
Take it. Let me first read a magazine. What is that? Speech or barter? There we go. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, I need some supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Aha! Barter! I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Understandable. What do you know about the situation, though? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. That's fair. Take it easy now. Thanks for the help. Who else? Easy beat. Oh, wait, Doc Mitchell. Hey, Doc, I got a question. Oh, R puts away your gun. Or your hands. At least I think it does. Doc Mitchell, question for you. Why are you sitting in the corner when you got all these other lovely things to sit in? How are you holding up? Yeah. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You're a good man, Doc Mitchell. You take care now. Thanks, Doc. Alright, so I need a silver tongue for Trudy, but I think my options are gonna be better if I get easy peat as well. I don't think I'm I, I don't think I have the most recent copy of Explosives Digest, so I'm just gonna have to ask him and hope that the science is enough to get through it. Why am I so scientific? What a fool I was. Oh my. Well I hope I don't need that to talk to him. Oh, stop, stop walking. There you go. Now, where the hell do I need to go in order to find you? Oh, he's asleep. Do I want to wake him up? Of course I do. Get up, you old hoot. Howdy. Thanks. Need some dynamite. Oh, wait a minute. What do you know about your cop? Bad trouble. Okay. Alright. Welcome. Oh. Well, will you help us kill him? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. <laughs> well, I'm gonna fail, but I wanna know what would happen. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Well, that's fair. Yep. Howdy. How goes my speech? I'm pretty speechy. Real bad at melee and explosives, though. And energy weapons. Oops. I don't think I need to read the book. I do need to get shooty, though. I'm gonna sit right here. And I'm gonna wait for him. I'll wait days.
All right, where the hell is she? Help of Trudy. All right, where's how, where the hell is she though? I need this town and its six inhabitants to help me in a gunfight, and I can't do that unless Trudy helps me out, so where the hell is she? <laughs> Cleaning up the town. Oh god, now I lost Sunny. Diane, I'm glad you know how to use a door. There she is. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Ooh, interesting. I didn't think Sneak was going to be involved in any of this. A fixed radio, though. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. <laughs> Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Thank you, Trudy. Hmm. Speech or sneak? We'll do sneak. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Alright, fine. Why do they want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. It makes me want to side with the NCR right now. Be careful out there. I can't make money if there's no civilization. And that should be it. Hurry up and get ourselves in the first gunfight. Hey, buddy, wake up, we're killing. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Nope, let's kill. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. Ooh, all right, how many? At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. I still think there's a few out there. 
Oh, there they are. Yeehaw. Woo! Who's left? You ain't getting away, buddy. Oh, you know what? You're really not getting away. something very bright. For your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you become vilified by the community. Oh, Powder Gang is community. And meanwhile, I'm loved by everybody else. See? Killing can be good. Give me that. Oh, wait, money. Yeah, give me your clothes. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Hmm? Didn't I hear you say something about not being able to pay me? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Oh, New Vegas. I'll be heading there someday. Thanks for chit-chatting, buddy. You okay? Oh, man, you could have died. I don't think any of the Goodwoods, Good, Good, what are we? Good Springs? I don't think any of them got killed. That's so cute, they chat together. You okay? I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Be careful out there. Nice chatting. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid Good Springs in the future. What do you do? I hunt geckos mostly. Oh. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I'm glad. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. I'm glad that I just had somebody who's a varmint killer behind me to back me up during a firefight. Until next time. How about you? Thanks again for all your help. No biggie. What the hell's the caravan? You can't. Okay. Well, I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Fair. See ya. Yeah. I'm going to Prim. Goodbye. Wait a minute. In theory, I can smash these rifles together. And I'm now over encumbered. <laughs> That's fair. How do I mod... Okay, X is to mod them. What? What'd I do? 
I right clicked on it. I dumped it on the ground, didn't I? Yep, there it goes. You're getting tossed. I don't care about that. This is fine. I'm going to see if I can get to that next town that they seem like they want me to get to, Prim, and then I'm just going to call it at that. The stream should probably end at a reasonable time. That's a horrible iron sight. Covering health. Is that an aid? Okay. That worked. Kinda. What a lovely view. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, we're doing good. I see. F oh, NCR money? I didn't know they had their own money, but I guess that makes sense. Alright, that's it. Wow! Wild. Okay. My legs! Why did they set up mine in their own... <laughs> in their own camp? Ow! Uh, my, my body is crippled. How horrifying. I gotta watch out. Steal? Why am I stealing? They're powder kegs, or powder gangers. Don't give me that. Oh, I don't care. That looks irradiated, though. Oh, wow. This isn't good. Alright, getting out of here. Thanks, I'm glad you like my hat. Right. Is there a 
appears to be a something up there, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. No hip firing allowed in this game, huh? Draw. Anytime. Feel free to shoot. Someday. Please? Why am I... Why am I stuck? <laughs> Well, some things you just gotta do yourself. It was. Hey, get over here. Really? Beat it. You too. Goddamn right that left foreleg was crippled. I have to wait until I actually have a proper working revolver. Hey, that's the New Vegas. Are you, are you gonna shoot me? You don't look inherently. Hey, where the hell do you oh. think you're going? Wow, you're like off limits. 30 feet away. What's going on on Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Well, that's not good. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Uh, but you, what the hell are you doing here? I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. That man has some... some fucking vocal cords if he managed to say all that from 35 feet away. Whoa! Sneak. How did speech get to be my highest point value? What happened here? Who let this happen? Um. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too worried about explosives this time. Normally I like a good boom, but. How many skill points? Do oh, I got a lot of skill points. Never mind. Let's let's distribute these even more. Okay, I guess this is fine. I'm in a. What is this? Is this the camp that they were talking about? Where are all the people from the New California Republic? Or am I just about to get killed by some gangbanger? Why would the flag still be up? I guess it's just a very sparsely populated city. Hello. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Good for you. I like that stick to itiveness. Oh, alright. So there is like a proper camp. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where the hell is he? I'm from Hub originally. Okay. It's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. All right. Where's Hayes? Sir. Oh, okay.
I will miss it. Oh no! <laughs> I need to dump some clothes on the crown. What? You have equipped faction armor. Faction disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of the faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight. I see. Security personnel such as guards and watchdogs. Okay, am I about to get destroyed? Because I'm dressed as a member of the NCR? I might walk out this door and be shot immediately with a lot of prejudice because I'm wearing armor that I'm not actually supposed to have. But how do I look? Pretty okay. Do you hate Hello. me? I guess not. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What the hell's going on? What's the problem? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. That's fine. Tell me about what's going on in there. Uh, information on the comics. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. You guys need better guards. I have some free time. Ask away. Oh. Sir? I guess I don't have anything else to ask. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. That toasty, huh? Hello. Goodbye. Well, I gotta get in there, so, uh... Oh! What the fuck? Alright. I see. Ow! Stop! Let me live! Why did they put landmines all over the road? Nope. So this is Prim? I did it. Who maintains these dumpster fires? Oh wait, that's where I work, Mojave Express. I see. Whoa. What's up there, buddy? That's not good. Boop. 
few of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional. Huh. Oh my god. Can I repair with some parts? Alright, fine, I'll leave it alone. Casino is someplace I can go inside, so I guess. Oh, wait, but I can go in there as well. I'm gonna get shot in the ass. Is this a movie theater? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Huh. Well, I'll answer what I can. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Uh. Ask away. What on? Well, yeah, what the hell are these things? What's a bison it's Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Oh. Well, all right. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Why aren't you dead? Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, shit, I work for you. I'm a carrier with you. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Hmm. Uh, I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, yeah. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Why was it strange? Actually, people... Did. Why was it strange? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. What, what, who can't? Why'd he cancel? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No. Let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. That's weird. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Gray is a very well-known unlucky name. All right, well, somebody stole the package. Do you know who the hell that was? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. 
He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yeah, he shot me in the face. I'm gonna kill him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Oh, great. Uh, cowboy robot. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Cowboy robot hired you to do what? Was that Victor in the Goodwill town? Good Springs? What the hell does he have to do with any of this? Don't go getting yourself shot. I'll do my best. No promises. Casino and Museum. What the fuck are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. Nice hat. Hey there. Oh, I already talked to you. Hey. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Getting shot in the head. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around a kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. Yeah, I'll take a the venom it. has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. I'd like to have some of that red scorpion venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Why? I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Am I going to get high? Bye. <laughs> what, what was that goodbye? <laughs> Actually, I want to know more Welcome about the back. town. Good to see you again. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time <laughs> being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Yeah, bye. I like her. Now what else is around here? What? Hey! <laughs> you okay? I'd rather be left alone in my misery if you don't mind. Alright. So about that lock picking I gotta do. <laughs> Ooh wee. Oh, what's the point in getting back here though? Either. Hey. Either. Hey. Not really much to see, unfortunately. Howdy. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that the doors were not automatically shut. Still dressed as a member of the NCR. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot. Ooh. So that's what I came back here for. Oh, I actually need to have a higher number, like, straight up. Okay. 
spiked knuckles, switchblade. Don't mind if I do. Ah, what do I care? Thief! Oh. All right, you got me. I'm shocked that you took the stuff back instead of, you know, instantaneously killing me like any other game would. Nice touch. Well, they're missing a sheriff, and apparently he's the last one to see the guy who shot me in the head, so I'm going to see if I can find him. No one. But before we get any farther. Where's all that dynamite I've been picking up? There it is. What? Oh, five is dynamite now. Love it! Hey, how's that convict getting health back? Oh! Oh man, that dynamite doesn't fuck around! Why is money bottle caps in this? I don't I don't think I ever figured that out. A convict. Whoa! How are you doing? Why the hell are you carrying an egg timer around with you? Oh, why not? Oh, man. All right, buddy, you want a knife fight? Let's go. What are you looking at? What are you looking at?
<laughs> incinerator. Oh. How you doing? Ho -ho 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 -ho. Holy shit. Come back. We just started talking. I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Where'd all those stim packs go? There. Are, who are you? Hey, you're the guy I'm looking for, but hold on a second. Nothing to say. Man, that was horrible. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Did you have some of that red scorpion casserole too? You must be Sheriff Beagle. Why, yes I am. Or Deputy. It's a I mean. pleasure to meet you. Nice hat. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Yeah, we'll see. How'd you end up being hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Right. I'm looking for a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. You're... full of shit. Tell me or you're rotten here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. You're full of shit. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. Yeah, um, fine. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Uh, if you try to uh, if you try to run away, I'm going to kill you. Oh. Why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. You're a good man, Deputy Beagle. A respectable sort of man. Hmm. What the hell are these for? Oh my god, that's insane. Can I give you a firearm, or do you already have something? I don't plan to come back to the Bison, Steve, much in the years to come, if I ever get out of it. I just hope I won't have to use it. Oh, you already have a gun. Can I, can I take your journal? You give that to me. <laughs> I just reached into this man's pockets and, like, took his diary off of him. I don't feel like I have anything that you don't already have, unfortunately. I just have a bunch of 9 millimeters. Alright, let's get going. And depart, we will. God, I hate him. He reminds me vaguely of myself, and that's upsetting. I guess that's everything, because I just killed the Great Khan leader. Or, I mean, the powder people in this area. The leader. I took his flamethrower. Yeah, time to skedaddle. 
Hey, that's some good stuff. Oh fuck, I thought the sled outside. I'm waiting for the deputy to shoot me in the back. Got you now. Oh. What's going on? Where's the gunfight happening? Why wasn't I invited? Ooh. Oh, hi. You look horrible. Shot, deputy. Ooh, I'll take that. Don't know where that key goes to, but hopefully something nice. Ooh, low night vision, sure. Come on, adventure. I'm overburdened. All right, that's fair. Low strength. That's what happens. We're putting that on. Uh, oop. I, I know I'm over-encumbered. How do I get rid of shit? I don't need this many pistols. Shoot me. Ow. Okay, no, I guess not. Yeehaw. Butter knife. Is that a weapon? I can I actually use that? I need a drink. Nice. Merc adventure outfit? Sounds like it could be important. Beagle. Wow. I don't plan to come back to the bison, Steve, much in the years to come. Uh, can I can I make him um I just hope I won't have to use it. If I give you something to heal yourself with, will you do it?
And depart, we will. You're gonna die. Alright, we just gotta go back the way we came, right? Because there's no real reason for us to be here anymore. Is the way out. Also, what kind of place is this? Oh. You're free. Hey there. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Jagger suit. Uh, I guess you already told me, huh? <laughs> You're the sheriff now, buddy. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Yeah? What are the qualifications for Sheriff? You probably meet it. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Hmm. Ex sheriff or the NCR. Well, see ya. Maybe next time you can bring a new sheriff back with you. Don't fucking die in the meanwhile. Well, um, hmm, I don't see any problem with the NCR. The New California Republic seems about as good as choice as anyone else around here. It still doesn't have any bullets, I should probably stop pulling it out. I have a flashlight. Nice. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it here for now because it's getting a bit late. I've been streaming for a couple hours now. We actually got into the main game. No one's died yet. Might as well quit war ahead, right? So I'm going to hit the escape button. We're gonna save here. Um, save. Excellent. Alright. Good stream, everyone. Rent it in here. Quit. See you all next time.